My name is Simon Wilson. I'm a senior uh, solicitor in the clinical negligence department at Neil Hudgel Solicitors. We handle a broad range of claims from dental negligence claims, GP negligence claims um, and general hospital claims too. Injuries can range from very minor two or three weeks pain and suffering because of a, a misprescription of a drug for example up to um, injuries of maximum severity, brain injury or subsequently sometimes death. In the department, the, the members of staff involved have more than 20 years of experience of dealing with clinical negligence claims. Uh, we've dealt with um, a, a number of surgical error claims, particularly against Scarborough Trust recently, um, which have resulted in uh, the surgeon involved being suspended from practice for 12 months because of the errors he was making. The first one involved a thyroidectomy, um, whereby unfortunately the, uh, the lady involved was left with um, vocal cord palsy, which means that she doesn't have a proper voice, that she has a permanent tracheotomy which she has to cover when she speaks. Um, she's only in her early 40s and this will be a permanent situation. Um, the second case unfortunately led to um, the client's death. Um, the surgeon tied off the wrong artery in the leg uh, during an operation had to go in to try and uh, rectify the position. Unfortunately then left a swab in and had to go in a third time and unfortunately the patient bled to death shortly thereafter. Both claims were successful um, and there were GMC proceedings thereafter, General Medical Council proceedings, where the doctor was called before a panel to, to, to justify what had happened and they found that uh, his, his actions amounted to misconduct and he was suspended from practice for 12 months. When someone has a medical negligence claim they need specialist input, people with experience of dealing with this type of claim. They are standalone claims and need specialist expertise, particularly in reviewing medical records. Within our department we have over 20 years of experience of dealing with this type of claim. Uh, we're able to give a, a quick answer as to whether there is a claim to investigate. In terms of the claim process it's not just about getting compensation for the client, it's making sure that the client is happy, that they know what is happening within their claim, that we communicate regularly with them, that we will return calls the same day they received, emails the same day, um, so that they are continually in the loop as to what is happening with their claim, because at the end of the day it is their claim. I would suggest that they should call us immediately to get some proper advice as to whether there is a claim worthy of investigation. There's no obligation on a client if they ring um, to proceed. We will give them uh, fair and honest advice. It may be that we advise that there is no claim or that they should make a complaint, but there is no obligation if they call.